with the exercise in any most trigonometric function that is the last exercise so in this chapter we have only get two exercise so the last exercise is so prove the following in that we have only four questions so we will solve that is in this class 3 sin inverse x that is equal to sin inverse of 3x minus 4x cube this is when x is lies between this closed interval minus 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 okay so now to prove this one i just take like this sin x i'll take it as a theta okay then x can be written as Sorry, I'll just take this as sine theta is a x. Sorry, sine theta is a x. Then x can be written as theta can be written as sine inverse of x. Okay. So anyway, LHS is a sine and RHS is also sine. We just take the variable that is x is nothing but sine theta. Then theta can be written as sine inverse of x. Okay. So now I'll just take RHS. RHS is sine inverse of 3x minus 4x cube. Simple one this is. So sine inverse of 3 into x is nothing but sine theta minus 4 times. Again x is nothing but sine. It is a cube is there. Therefore sine cube theta. This is the formula for sine 3 theta. Sine inverse of sine 3 theta because Sine three theta can be written as three sine theta minus four times sine cube theta. Okay. Now sine and inverse get cancelled. Remaining is three theta. Now three into theta is nothing but sine inverse x. And this is what LHS. Is. And it's proof. Understood. So here I took the sine theta as a x. Theta will be sine inverse. We just take it the RHS sine inverse of 3x minus 4x cube. Substitute x is nothing but sine theta, and this is nothing but sine 3 theta formula. It is. Therefore, your sine and inverse get cancelled. Remaining is a 3 theta. Keep it 3 as it is. Theta can be written as sine inverse of x, and that is what the LHS. And as the proof. Okay. So now we do this again. Again, that is for the cos. Cos three theta formula it is. So second one, we need to prove three cos inverse x, and this is of cos inverse four x cube minus three x. So this is when x is lies between. A closed interval one by two to positive one. Again the same thing. You need to take let x be a cos theta, and theta will be cos inverse x. Consider the RHS. RHS is cos inverse of four x cube minus three x. Now cos inverse four into x is nothing but cos theta, but cube is there, therefore cos cube theta minus three into x is a cos theta, so three cos theta. Again, this is the formula for cos three theta. Cos inverse of cos three theta. Why? Because cos three theta can be written as four times cos cube theta minus three cos theta. For a sine and cos, which is easy to remember, the three theta formula. For a sine, you will get the reverse. So three sine theta, then minus four sine cube theta. For a cos, it is it will start with the second term minus first term. Now what you do? You just cancel out these two. Remaining is the three theta. Now three into theta can be written as cos inverse of x, and this is what the LHS. Okay, easy one. Now I move on to the third. So this is based on the fifth property. That
Here is the tanning mose. Tanning mose of 2 by 11 plus tanning mose of 7 by 24 and this is equal to tanning mose 1 by 2. This is go with the property. So we know that tanning was x plus tanning was y can be written as tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy. So as I said that in an exam you should mention this property. Okay, you have to mention it. Now tan inverse 2 by 11 plus tan inverse 7 by 24. I just consider only the LHS. Okay. Now you just apply the property. This one. We can write that is tan inverse of x plus y. x is nothing but 2 by 11 plus 7 by 24. Whole thing divided by 1 minus 2 by 11 into 7 by 24. Clear? Now, tan inverse of, you need to take the LCM once you apply the property. So, LCM is like, so 11 into 24, 11 into 24 is 24. So, 11 4 is a 44, 4 carry, 11 into 2 is 22, plus 2 is 26, 2, 64 is the LCM. Just cross multiply, 24 into 2 is 48, plus 7 into 11 is 77. Again, the denominator, the same thing. 11 into 24 is 264 because somehow you need to cancel out these two. Okay. So 264 into 1 is 264 minus 7 into 2 is 14. Cancel out these two. And the next step is tan inverse of 48 plus 77 is 110, 110, 125. Divided by 264 minus 14 is 250. Now 125 2 is a 250, right? Therefore, this is tan inverse of 1 divided by 2, and this is what the RHS. Here, so this they may ask for a 3 mark. So I do the last in this class. the property but in your exam you have to mention the property okay so now before applying the property you should see that whether this tan inverse is with any coefficient or not so if it is only a tan inverse then you could have applied the property directly but it is with a 2 okay when it is with a 2 then you need to reduce this function it is only a tan inverse okay so here the coefficient should not be there when you are applying the property. So here 2 is there. What you do? You just make use of the sixth property. That is 2 tan inverse x can be written as tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x square. Okay. Hope you remember that. So now I just take it. Let this 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 can be written as tan inverse of 2 into x is nothing but 1 by 2. 1 minus x is nothing but 1 by 2 all square. Why this is? Because 2 tan inverse of x can be written as tan inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square. Well, apply in the property. This tan inverse should not contain any coefficient. Then only you can apply the fifth property. Is it clear? So for that, I just reduce this 2 tan inverse x in this form. Now you just simplify this. Here 2 to get cancelled. Remaining is tan inverse of 1 divided by 
1 minus, this is 1 divided by 4. Apply the square for numerator and denominator. Is it clear? So now this is tan inverse 1 divided by, if I take 4 is the LCM, 4 minus 1 will be 3 by 4. 3 divided by 4. This denominator of denominator, this goes to numerator. Clear? Therefore this is tan inverse of 4 divided by 3. This is for the value of 2 tan inverse 1 by 2. Okay. Hope you understood this. This is an important one. In an exam, if it is a 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of some value, don't apply the property directly. You need to check with the coefficient of this tan inverse. If nothing is there, then you can apply the property directly. Or else you need to apply this property and you need to make it this tan inverse coefficient should be a 1. Okay. Now you can write this value is, that is, LHS, now I can write tan inverse, 2 tan inverse 1 by 2, we got it as tan inverse 4 divided by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 7. Now you need to get this, okay. Now apply the property. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse of y is x plus y by 1 minus x y. It's nothing but 4 by 3 plus 1 by 7, 14 by 1 minus 4 by 3 into 1 by 7. Okay. Now, tan inverse of, take it LCM, 7 into 3 is 21. So, 7 into 4 is 28 plus 1 into 3 is a 3. All thing divided by, again the same thing, you can take 21 as the LCM. So 21 into 1 is 21 minus 4 into 1 is 4. These two get cancelled. Tan inverse of 28 plus 3 is 31. 21 minus 4 is 17. And this is what RHS. Okay. Important one. Hope you understood in our exercise. The first main, first main is nothing but prove that question it is. Only 4 is there. So I did all the 4. So next is, it is the simplest form. Again it is important for a 3 mark. So we will do that in the next class.